be going through what the hell a DeFi is and um, going through what the intersect with NFTs are. So here's a website called DeFiPulse.com and DeFi Pulse basically shows you that there is approximately $10.3 billion, probably more by now, that is locked up in DeFi protocols. And what DeFi is, is basically um, decentralized finance. So it's a way for like financial institutions and um, banks and all those things that uh, run with, you know, people, centralized bodies that run them. Um, people are kind of taking that into their own control and blockchain was kind of made for, um, uh, you know, that sort of a thing. So we're seeing um, projects where you can swap your tokens directly with peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning that people can provide that liquidity to you um, to the protocol like Uniswap and you know as some I don't have to go to a cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase or I don't have to go to Coinspot to, uh, Coinspot to switch my token from say Ethereum to USD or USD to Mana etc. I can just go straight to DeFi um, I can go straight to Uniswap and do that transaction that trade without um, having a KYC or being approved or anyone checking my credit rating right because that whole thing is kind of owned and run by the people. There's people that provide the money that you trade with, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we can go to Uniswap right here and I'll show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Um, really, really popular because you know not everyone wants to sign up to Coinbase and go through that whole approval process. But if you have money in your MetaMask wallet, you can just say, all right, well, I'm gonna put two Ethereum and I'm gonna trade it for, let's see, what do we trade it for? Maybe Mana, all right. I want to trade it for mana and I'm going to get 9,600 mana for doing so. I click swap um, and then the MetaMask transaction thing opens for me and I click confirm and bang. I have just traded two Ethereum for 9,600 mana. Um, I don't have to go to CoinSpot. I don't have to go to Coinbase. I don't have to go to any of those projects. Yes, maybe if I want to cash my money out to Aussie dollars, I have to go there. But in this case, if I just want to keep my money into crypto, don't have to do none of that. I can just keep, and a lot of these currencies and NFT projects, they deal with Ethereum, Mana, um, so many other tokens that are used, like meme, meme coin is used, uh, whale token is used to buy some whale NFTs. And a lot of that stuff, you can just get those currencies from Uniswap. You can just swap them straight to this using MetaMask. So um, it, there's a big benefit for people to pool their money or stake their money here that actually provide that exchange liquidity for you because they get paid 3% fees that gets distributed to the pool the pool um, contributors. So if I have like say $10,000 in MANA and Ethereum, instead of just keeping it in Coinbase or CoinSpot, I can put it into Uniswap and people that make those exchanges, I get a percentage of those fees. So that's why a lot of people have pool their money in here and it's become very, very popular because on one side you got people who are pulling their money and getting 3% share of the fee. So every day they're getting like, I don't know, some of them making $10, $50, thousands of dollars, depending on how much you're actually pooling and how much liquidity you're providing. And on the other side, you've got people who can just swap currency real quick and easy without having this whole coin space, coin boss, uh, coin base thing. So um, there's a ton of different protocols here and Uniswap is one of them. And in the last uh, year or so, we've seen like a pretty massive spike over say July. And I kind of think that this spike is, um, you know, we've also seen NFTs boom in the sim in similar time. And it looks like them, you know, people that engage in DeFi protocols need to have a MetaMask. And that's also what you need to get NFTs. And for a long time, the NFT market has suffered because not people didn't know how to use MetaMask. Now, so many people know how to do it using DeFi. And I think that's been one of the catalysts that we're hearing about NFTs now because so many people in the DeFi space can jump on it um, because they understand that whole transaction language instead of keeping their money in Coinbase or all these things, they have it in their MetaMask wallet where they can just use that Ethereum to buy whatever they want straight away. So that happened because of DeFi and now because NFTs are like staring a lot of people in the face, like, yo, you know, art piece is selling for 100K, whatever um people know how to do that so you can see a may june july somewhere there it picked up um and for a long time i mean the protocol still existed but uniswap really started to take things to the next level um we can kind of see so what's happening now is that we're seeing an intersect between the DeFi space where people are doing those things like what you see at uniswap where people stake their money to earn fees and revenue and what people are doing in the NFT space is they're joining these methodologies, these um, kind of base level things and Don't Buy Meme or the Meme Project is a very, very good example of this. 
I'm not advocating to go buy the meme token or anything. The technology is what I'm talking about here, right? If you want to invest, invest. If you don't, don't. I'm talking about the tech and what's what we're seeing an emergence of. So the don't buy meme project, um, you stake your meme token, meaning you lock it up for every day and you, you get like what's called pineapple points or points or pineapples. And you can get max five points a day depending, depending on how much meme you stake. And you can cash those tokens in so you can see what the zero pineapples earned. But if I stake my meme, I can get um, these cards and you can see 10 minted sold out. So people have already cashed these in. These are really, these, those are legendaries. Um, here I've staked five meme and I've got 55 points. So technically I can kind of claim this, cost me one pineapple to redeem this NFT. Um, it costs me 10 pineapples to redeem this NFT. Um, and I think it's like the first generation, basically. It's kind of a spin-off meme of meme type art around, you know, popular influencers like CZ, you got uh, Andre Cronier, Pepe, Vitalik, etc. right? And so what people are doing is not only are they staking their money in Uniswap, but when you do that, you also get what's called LP tokens. And these tokens you use to claim that money back. So for example, if I put 10k that I, I use that to get back. They're also staking it in me. So you can see if you go to OpenSea, OpenSea gives us an activity of all the sales that are happening currently and people are selling their NFTs. So this Satoshi Rare sold for 0.57 Ethereum. This sold for one meme, the Vitalik Buterin Rare, which I think there's only 100 of them. And the Andre Cronier one went, went for one ETH. Um, and if you go into it, I think there's only 100 supply. Yeah. 100 total and 92 owners. So 92 individual people own them, but there's 100 total supply. So you can see people are getting those NFTs and, and just selling them back on the marketplace or they're collecting them. So there's an intersect of NFTs and DeFi happening. And for me, that's extremely cool because suddenly it's like merging two worlds of the blockchain industry where people are getting paid, getting assets of value. And you can see like 20 Ethereum, that one went for. Hayden legendary. I think the legendary is only a 10 of them, right? 0.18 Ethereum. This one sold. Let's check it out. Um, so again, oh, a thousand of these in total. Uh, 803 owners. I think that's sold out. Um, all been claimed. Yeah, sold out. So they've all been minted. And now the only way to get them is, is to get them from OpenSea. So it's like this really interesting dynamic and I understand the collectability, the collectability factor really well because I am from the NFT background, right? So I kind of understand how things work in terms of collecting. Um, so I know when things get sold out or run out, then you can, they start to go up in value. Now, Avogadro is a similar type of thing where, um, you know, in the Aave protocol or, you know, you can, while you're staking there or providing liquidity, your token or your Tamagotchi or your Avogadro, it starts to get features that are rare. And, and it's a kind of a sort of a new project and it's still launching, but you can see that you can start to claim while you're providing liquidity. It's kind of like this multiverse thing that's happening while you're providing liquidity. Um, you can get these games, portals, wearables, etc. Governance is coming, rarity is part of the aspect, and it's like this whole thing that's happening now in the DeFi space, where it's an intersect of NFTs and DeFi. Um, so you can see what it looks like. It's it's kind of got some promise. I know some VCs have invested in there, so there is some interest. And you know, the meme project has kind of set off this this thing where um, you know that we're going in this trajectory of a meme uh, NFTs time DeFi.